Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. It's Braves Beat. Hey there, Indian Hill. Welcome to this week's edition of Braves Beat. I'm Luke Johnson. And I'm Roma Sarder here with your weekly news. Let's get right to it. All right. Our first pep rally was this week, and boy, was it a lot of fun. Thanks to all the people that made it possible. Shout out to Darth Vader for making a special appearance. Check out this clip. So be right now. Okay, okay. Our Braves football team dominated the new Richmond Lions last Friday 45-12 and Demetrius Baylor led the Braves offense with 179 rushing yards and three touchdowns. And senior Joe Oaks had a monster game leading to the defense with eight solo tackles. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the game. <laughs> John Mark Williams, just short of a touchdown. Got in. And it is good. Oh, he's got him. Oh, yes, he's got him. Number nine, Alex Lindbergh with the touchdown. What a great pass. The Braves play tomorrow at 7 against CHCA. Make sure you wear all white for the whiteout. The varsity golf team took second at the CHCA Mid-Season Invitational this past Saturday. Congratulations to Joey Alspa, Will Church, Chris Newman, Scott Schumann, Andrew Schwanekamp, Peter Shakley, and Trey Skidmore. Well done. The past week, our cross-country team went up to Sandusky, Ohio to compete in the Panther Run to the Fun Race. Ben Bayless and Nolan Heffernan finished in the first and third, respectively, in the 3200, and Amy Peru finished 10th. The team also got to ride some roller coasters at Cedar Point. Sounds like a lot of fun. Now let's check in with Ethan Higgins on what's going on in sports. Hey, I'm Ethan Higgins. This week in sports, your Lady Braves tennis team beat Sycamore High School 5-zip, and the football team also had a triumphant defeat of the new Richmond Lions last Friday, 45-12. Tonight, you can check out the girls' volleyball game at Reading. Also, later this Saturday, the boys take on Tippecanoe High School at home at 3 o'clock. And don't forget to log on to the Superfan app at the games. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Ethan. That's all the news we have for this week. Thanks for watching. And before we head out, let me hit you with an exemplary dad joke. What do you call a snobbish criminal going down the stairs? I don't know, Luke. What could it be? A condescending con descending. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy Indian Hill. How many terms did Benjamin Franklin serve as president? Two? Three. Is he the weird one? Benjamin. He wasn't the president. We're talking about you? seven, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> zero. Zero. Three. Six. What's the nation's capital? The nation's capital is a Pyongyang. Washington? <laughs> if a farmer has 15 sheep and all eight died, how many are left? 
Farmer has what? Wait, what? I feel so you stupid. Can't.